develop, document, and implement security policy, standards, procedures, and guidelines. Sensitive and classified information should be protected mainly based on their value and sensitivity. In order to achieving organizations' information security goals we need to implement strategic, tactical, and operational plan. Strategic plans are aligned with the strategic business and information technology goals. Strategic plans guide. The long-term. Security activities, 3 to 5 years or more. Tactical plan is a midterm plan developed to provide more details on accomplishing the goals set in the strategic plan. Tactical plans achieve the goals of the strategic plan and are shorter in length, 6-18 months. Some examples of tactical plans are project plans, acquisition plans, hiring plans, budget plans, maintenance plans, support plans, and system development plans. Operational plan is a short-term, highly detailed plan based on the strategic and tactical plans. It is valid or useful only for a short time. Examples of operational plans are training plans, system deployment plans, and product design plans. Policies are documented principles that guide decisions to achieve intended outcomes. An example of this is employees should not reuse their password on any other network. Policies are divided into level of policies and categories of policies. Level of policies are divided into organizational security policies system specific security policies and issue specific security policies. Categories of policies are divided into regulatory security policies, advisory security policies, and informative security policies. An organizational security policy typically high-level policies that can cover a large number of security controls. The primary information security policy is issued by the company to ensure that all employees who use information technology assets within the breadth of the organization, or its networks, comply with its stated rules and guidelines. A system-specific security policy details how to set up and maintain individual systems. It addresses security for a specific computer, network, technology, or application. This policy type is much more technically focused than an issue-specific security policy. An issue-specific security policy addresses specific security issues. Issue-specific Policies include email privacy policies, virus checking policies, employee termination. Policies, no expectation of privacy. Policies, and so on. Issue specific. Policy support. The organizational security policy. Regulatory security policies address specific industry regulations, including mandatory standards. Examples of industries that must consider regulatory security policies include healthcare facilities, public utilities, and financial institutions. Advisory security policies provide instruction on acceptable and unacceptable activities. In most cases, this policy is considered to be strongly suggested, not compulsory. This Type of policy usually gives examples of possible consequences if users engage in unacceptable activities. Informative security policies provide information on certain topics and act as an educational tool. Policies are broad and provide the foundation for development of processes, procedure standards, baselines, guidelines, and procedures. A process is a structured set of activities designed to accomplish a specific objective. For example, an organization may define a process for how customers enter an online order, how the payment is processed, and how the order is fulfilled after the payment is processed. Procedures are a documented sequence of steps designed to support standards and policies around deployment and operations. Procedures, if followed, will ensure the timely and satisfactory application of those previously stated standards and policies. 
standards describe how policies will be implemented within an organization. For example, all critical data will be encrypted during transmission and storage. They are mandatory actions or rules that are tactical in nature, meaning they provide the steps necessary to achieve security. Guidelines are recommended actions that are much more flexible than standards, thereby providing allowance for circumstances that can occur. Guidelines provide guidance when standards do not apply. A baseline is a reference point that is defined and captured to be used as a future. Reference Although capturing baselines is important, using those baselines to assess the security state is just as important. Even the most comprehensive baselines are useless if they are never used.